Hello. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you, Julia? Fine. Happy. Good. Vacation mood. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. So you must have rested today. Yeah. Most okay. of, yeah, most of the day. I've been resting. I went to I had a I have that uh, sensation that to to eat something sweet. <laughs> so I went to to buy the some uh, a piece of cake. Okay. <laughs> good. Yeah. Enjoy it. I already did. Good, good, nice. Jose, yeah. how are you? Good evening. I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay too. How was yeah. your day? Hello, Julia. Hello. Jenny, how are you? You ready? Hey, teacher. When yes, is sir. What, what? This is the last week or, or, or next, next week? week is the last? We finish next week. Finish next week, okay? Yes, next week. We finish next week. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Good. Irene, how was your day? Oh. Good evening, this, everybody. Today it was. Ah, sorry, sorry. It's for Irene. Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, it's okay. The question is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have a good day, Irene? Um, I have a good, a good day. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Good, good. I had a good day as well. You know, I I go to San Salvador in the mornings, um, and then I come back home like um, 10, 30, 11, and then I start working from home. So that is my schedule like. All right. So welcome back everybody. Rocio, Irenia, Julia, Irene, and Jose. What is today's date? Yeah. Today is 11 November 2020. Yes. November 11. November 11th, 2020. Yes. So we are almost reaching um, mid November. We are four days away from mid November. Next thing we know, November is going to be finished, then December, and then 2021. Yep. All right, so let's begin. Uh, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? What did we talk about? Do you remember wishes and regrets? Yeah, wishes and regrets. And, uh -huh. and what structures were we using uh, to talk about wishes and regrets? Who remembers? Do you guys remember the past perfect? Yes. What is the what is the auxiliary we use in the past perfect? Have. Had. What is the form? of the verb in the past perfect? Simple past. The form mm. of the verb? Past participle. Past participle, exactly. So how do you say, si hubiera escuchado a mi mamá? If I could have... If I listen. had listened to my mom. Listen to my mom. Uh -huh. Listened, listened. listened to my mom. If I had listened to my mom, yes, hubiera terminado más pronto. How do you say that? I would have finished. Exactly. I sooner. would have finished sooner. Yes. If I had listened to my mom, I would have finished sooner. Si hubiera escuchado a mi mamá, hubiera terminado más temprano, más rápido. 
What about the past continuous? How do you say, me gustaría que estuviéramos poniendo atención? How will you say that one? I wish. I wish. Using the past continuous, que estuviéramos poniendo atención. We were. We were paying more attention. Exactly. I wish we were paying. We were, we were paying, paying attention, attention or more attention. Right. Okay. So that those are the structures that we use when we are talking about wishes and regrets. And like Oscar was saying, you know, like that, those structures, they take a lot of work. They take a lot of practice. So any questions or comments? No? Any questions? Okay, Hello. so let's begin with our first activity let me see this here you be inside now you currently sign another device hmm. okay give me a second huh. so apparently okay can you see the screen can can you see if it says recording yes i can is it yes, recording yes, it is. Because I received a, 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 a message, but anyways. All right, um, eight to nine, eight to nine. Loading, loading, loading. How do you, um, do you have a hero in your life? No, I don't. Like maybe your father, your mother, your grandpa, your grandma, your big maybe sister. Who uh -huh. admire? Okay, people that you admire, very good. Okay. Have you read um, this story, The New York uh, Honors a Hero? No. no. No? Okay, you will find this story in the platform. New York honors a hero. So let me ask you, what aspects or what things do you think are necessary for a person to be named a hero? It's an actor. What is it? It's an actor. I, I, I cannot hear you, Irene. It's an actor, teacher. An actor? Uh-huh. Okay, to be a hero? I think she's asking if he's an actor. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe he's an actor. But what aspects do you think a person needs to do to be considered a hero? Mm. A good heart okay. person. Okay, a person with a good heart, okay. And when when uh -huh. somebody makes a outstanding uh, work, uh, or deed? An work and an outstanding deed, um, mm -hmm. deed, deed, and uh -huh. okay, someone else. What if someone saves someone else's life? Would that person be considered as a hero? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you put your own life to risk, that's like double reason to be considered a hero. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, as we read this article, you will understand um, what we're talking about. So I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph, please. It started. Anybody? Uh, okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. It started as a typical day for Weasley Autry, a 50-year-old construction worker in New York City. It was about 12.45 p.m. and he was waiting on a subway platform to take his daughter home before he went to work. 
she suddenly noticed a man nearby have a convulsion and collapse. Mr. Autry and two women went to help the stranger. The man, Cameron Holopeter, managed to get to his feet, but then stumbled at the edge of the platform and fell onto the subway track. Mr. Autry looked up and saw the light of the subway train approaching through the tunnel. Good, thank you. Any questions there about vocabulary or pronunciation? The expression managed to get to his feet. Um, where are you? This is Rosie. Uh, oh, Cameron Hall of Peter. Oh, right. Managed mm -hmm. to get to his feet, right. Mm -hmm. But then stumble. Yeah, stumbled. What does mean stumble? Um, does anybody know stumble? Spanish? Um, like you're walking and you lose balance and you fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? No? Okay. Mario, can you please help me with the next paragraph? What would you what do? Would, uh, what would you do? Stand horrified and watch helplessly. Uh -huh. Most people will jump into the help, but only if there were no train in sight. Mr. Autry acted quickly. He leapt down onto the track. He realized that, the, that he didn't have time to get Mr. Holoperter and himself back up on the platform before the train arrived. So he lay on top of the man and proceeded down as hard as he could. Okay, all right. Thank you. Any questions or comments there? Mm -hmm. Helplessly. Helplessly. Mm. Does anybody know the word helplessly? Like he need more help or um, he's horrified for, for, for Asking for help? No. Okay, helplessly is when you cannot do anything. For example, if you see someone with a pistol here, you feel helpless. You cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, I guess not. Uh -huh. Anybody volunteer to read? Mm -hmm. Although the driver tried to stop the train before before it reached them, he, he couldn't. Five cars passed over them before the train finally stopped. The cars had passed only inches from his head. His first goal were to ask the onlookers on, on, on to tell his daughters he was okay. Okay, thank you. All right, any questions there about that paragraph? <laughs> I have I have two questions: the meaning of onlookers and the meaning of inches. Okay, onlookers are the people that are looking at the event, but they are they are not involved. They're just looking. Like witnesses. Yeah, like witnesses. In Spanish, we call them mirones, onlookers. Oh. Okay. And what is the other word? Inches. Uh, okay. That's only inches from his head. Oh, reach them. Inches. Ah, uh, inches. Oh, inches. It's a measure. It's yeah, a it's measure. a measure. Pulgadas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. a measure. Thank you. Okay, good. 
Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, I need another volunteer to start reading the new paragraph. New York. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Diana. New York loves a hero. And there was no question that Mr. Autry's actions had been just uh -huh. that heroic. He became an overnight sensation. People couldn't get enough of the story. The media named him the Subway Superman. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg gave him the bronze med medallion, uh -huh. the city's highest honor. In the past, this honor has gone to such people as General Douglas MacArthur, Martin Luther King Jr., and Muhammad Ali. Thank you. Any questions for me? What's the meaning of the word overnight? The meaning of what is from night overnight from overnight from night to day? Yeah, you can explain it. Something that happened very quickly. Okay. Any others? Okay, so I need another volunteer to read the next paragraph. Right there. Volunteer, please. He was also, he was uh -huh. also asked to appear on several high profile television talk shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is self his selfless bravery was bravery. also mm -hmm. bravery was also reward rewarded with money and gifts. Among among other things, Mr. Autry received ten thousand dollars from Donald Trump, mm -hmm. a five thousand gift card from the Gap clothing store, mm -hmm. a new jeep, tickets, and backstage, backstage, backstage passes, space. Uh -huh. Yeah, passes. Passes to the next Beyonce concert. <laughs> and a free one year public transit pass. Good, thank you. Yeah. All right, so imagine all the rewards that he received but he exposed his life. Yeah. He exposed his life. Okay. Uh, any questions or comments about the last part that Rocio just read? Okay. And here we go with the last part. One uh, last volunteer. Uh, yes, Mark, uh, you have a question? The, the, the war selfless bravery. Yeah. Selfless bravery. What is bravery? Bravery. Valor. Su valor no egoísta. Because selfless, uh, um, selfless, it's like, it's not only me. I share it with other people. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so who's the last volunteer to read? A Disney ambassador? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. A, a Disney ambassador thanked him with a one week old express paid. Expenses paid. Uh, exp expenses paid trip to Disney World and ticket to see The Lion King on Broadway. Mm -hmm. How did Audrey, a uh, Navy, be veteran. A Navy veteran react to all this. Honorably, he said, I don't I feel like I did anything spectacular. I just saw someone who needed help. I did what I felt was right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Any questions about the last part Jesus just read? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Anybody mm -hmm. else?
So what was the man's previous uh, occupation? He was a Navy veteran. He was a Navy veteran. Navy veteran. Yeah, so when you're in the Army, you expose yourself to getting killed. So when you see things like this... All right, so let me um, assign you to work quickly in pairs and paraphrase what you understood. And at the same time, if you know about cases similar to this, feel free and share. So let's see this here. Uh -huh -huh. Go here and here we go. Paraphrase the, the article and talk about if you are familiar with real life cases like this one. Teacher. Yes, Julia. Oh, teacher, sorry. I think I was with uh, Bill Mavetti and I think he's having a uh, like connection problems. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Please, I mean, All right. I don't want to be alone. Let me fix this situation. Thank you. Okay. So I will change you to room three. Uh, infarto? I don't know. Uh, heart attack. Uh -huh. 
uh, them the, the woman uh, traveled traveled to the United States illegal. Uh, mm -hmm. Then when the train uh, passed or went, uh, he she fell down, fell down, mm -hmm. uh, fell down uh, to the train. Then the the knee the but, um... Uh, like a lion, uh, the Lion King. Uh, he, he's, the yes, a spectacular uh, exactly. theater in Disneyland. A Lion King in Broadway, in Broadway too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, he's a good man. And then, and then the thing was for, is help, help us for one people with uh, healthy. I was younger. Mm -hmm. I, I was working. Until, have you heard about until before? Really? Telecommunications? Yes, yes. When we was, uh, we were, we were installing some uh, telephone lines in some houses. Yeah. And uh, I have uh, some experience because my co, my partner, Yes, my part or my co-worker, no, my co-worker, my empleado, or my compañero, my co-worker, yes. Co-worker. My co-worker was, um, he was in a pole, un poste, oh, uh -huh. and, and another guy was uh, uh, throwing, lanzando, throwing the, the cable uh, over the tree, uh, over whatever, obstruction that they had so the cable mm -hmm. through very close to the high power tensions and and oh. we have we have two heridos uh, high no heridos high yes maybe high no, injured what's injured yes injured. Injured. <laughs> what is uh -huh. the word can you repeat please in Kure. Injured. Yeah, injured. Injured. Yeah, injured. I'll put it in the chat right now. Give me a second. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, uh, the the guy who was in the hall, uh, he was desmayado. Oh, injured. Injured, injured. Mm -hmm. yes. He was, he got the, se desmayó, fell down. Yes. And, and faint. He, he fainted. Faint. He fainted. fainted. He fainted. Yes, he fainted. fainted. Okay, he fainted. Uh, and even he was fainting and nobody uh, wants to help him. So I have to... to... Yes, right, yeah, right. Yes. Because they did that uh, selflessly. Yes. And that's, they, those people, they are like heroes, you know. Yes, yes, you're right. And That's you, Eremi, nice. have mm -hmm. you ever been helped by a hero? I think yes, but maybe that's a personal opinion, but I think that some, sometimes we don't even know that we are in risk. And because mm, different reasons, people come around and they save us from different situations that we didn't even know that we were in those situations. Yes. But I think one of the situations that I was in danger that I remember is when I was coming home from the university mm -hmm. and it was late at around nine or a little bit more. And I was uh, traveling by, by bus or in, mm -hmm. on the bus mm -hmm. with, a, with a friend and that that was a situation that it was uh, dangerous because a man was asking us for the money and the cell phones it was a tip mm -hmm. but I, I think that if I was alone something uh, would be different but i was with that with that girl and the girl was brave and i think that was a hero for me because he stopped she stopped the the men for for taking all our stuff 
Right. <laughs> he stabbed the man with a knife or stuff like that. No, no with, with the words. Man, the man was asking, oh. but uh, <coughs> the man didn't have a, a pistol or something like oh. that. But I think that I was like stiff and I, I didn't even speak. But my friend was. So my family realized that <laughs> I almost died. Yeah, it was horrible. He saved yes. my life. I feel a fear at the, at the ocean. I had a, a, a um, horror when yeah, I... Yeah, you feel like horror. Yes, I don't like I, it. I didn't... It's the sensation that I was so tired. I, I can swim. I cannot swim. So I was starting to feel like, like asleep. Like I just wanted to go and, and, and sleep. That's the sensation, but it's you horrible. You are really disespairing. Exactly, because when I was trying to, to go up to the water, um, they, uh, another wave came and covers me. And believe me, I tried hardly to, to touch the, the, the sand, the ground with my feet. Yes, do I you, love it. Do you feel comfortable? Yes, uh, I enjoy everything because I like to help uh, my partner. And sometimes when somebody can look any, any solution, maybe I can try to help them. Do you, do you think it's your, your job or the activities that you do? No. No. Did you guys finish? Uh, okay. Okay. Any questions about the article? No. I guess not. All right, let's wait for the others to return. Okay, so um, any questions about the story we just finished uh, reading? Questions or comments? I have a question. Yes, Diana. I didn't get what exactly the hero did. Um, what action did he do? Okay, he uh, can somebody explain, Diana, what it, what action did the person do? Anybody? Okay, so he's he's waiting for a train at a train station, and there is another person that loses balance and falls into the tracks of the of the train. So the train was coming. So this guy, the hero, when he saw that action, you know, he jumps in the, uh, 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 to the tracks. He gets on top of the victim and the train passes uh, on top of them. So he risked his life um, to help the other guy. So that's the story. Oh, okay. That that last part was well, I didn't get right. And the article says, well, anybody can jump. Sure, anybody can jump if you don't see a train coming. 
But this guy in particular, he saw that the train was coming, so he reacted quickly. So he saved uh, the other person's life. Okay, thank you, teacher. Sure, all right. Okay, um, so let's change topic. Um, when a baby is born in El Salvador, um, so the baby comes in the hospital, whatever, you as a father or you as a mother, what is the legal process to the baby? Okay, can you repeat, teacher? I didn't hear. Okay, so uh, uh, let's say you have a baby. Your wife has a baby at the hospital. They give you the baby. What is the first legal process that you need to do with the baby? You have uh, to give to the, 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 bird, the bird, uh, certificate. certification. What certificate? certificate. What, cer what certificate? Bird, the the birth bird. certificate. Yes, the birth certificate. So what does the birth certificate uh, have? What information can you find there? The name for the father, the name for the hospital when born your son, uh -huh. the date the, 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 the this day and in, another in one, the, the city and the person to that give the, the data in the mayor uh -huh. office. Uh -huh. And need to present the the certificate for the hospital or for okay. the medical receive the, the child. Okay. And all that. All right. So basically, you said everything, and uh, and the, the birth certificate includes the baby's name. Now, how do you say alcaldía in English? Major. You say city hall. Major, I, don't I don't know. City hall. City hall. City hall. City hall. City hall. City hall. Yeah. yeah. City hall. Okay. Now, who is the person responsible for city hall? Major. The major. Exactly. The mayor. The mayor. Now, you bring your baby to city hall and you come with a, a name that is not too common. What's going to be the reaction of City Hall? They'll be like, oh, this, this, is, this is the first time that I hear that name. Well, then you change that name. Right. They decide for you. <laughs> yeah, they said, uh, and they go check. Let me go check if they accept this name. You know. Now, why do you think they react like this? It's your baby. Like in the United States, you have a baby. You give him or her whatever name comes to your mind and nobody will question you. But why in El Salvador is, we have a different story? Any ideas? Yeah, because we are a kind, of, a kind of Spanish town and you're supposed to be, be named in a Spanish way. Okay. Uh, maybe. Another reason? Maybe. Our because that, uh, <laughs> uh, in, I, don't, I don't remember it uh, was uh, allowed if in, in the in the country when can use it a uh, a name for another another language you need to use a Latin names okay and another one is uh, a a names uh, without a a bad, bad um, meaning. Bad, I don't know. It's a relation that, that or meaning. A bad meaning or a bad relation. Okay. Yeah. Right. With. Um, I, yes, Rocio. Yes, I I have heard uh, names from other countries, for example, Nicaragua or uh -huh. Panama. And and they have other culture. <laughs> right. They they have name very strange. <laughs> right. Right. So so our countries have a, a okay. culture, a different culture. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are familiar with 
people's names that were born 80 years ago or 70 years ago. Oh. Sometimes they would have some strange names. Yes, from the calendar. <laughs> Yeah, from, like from the calendar. They said, oh, but poor baby, what a name. <laughs> so they put restrictions now. So when you come to City Hall now, okay, this is my baby and his name is... And then you or up, something like that. Right, or Saturnino <laughs> and Siriaco, things like that, you know. So the authorities, they said, oh, but uh, I don't think it's a good thing to give a, a baby that name. But anyways, mm -hmm. so let me share... Um, these questions for you. Teacher. Yes. I I meet a man that he has four names. Okay. Four names. Yes. Well, he, where are those names? Nicolás. Uh -huh. Nicolás Francisco Tomás Javier. My goodness. <laughs> I had heard uh, only three names. Carlos Juan Antonio. That, only okay. three names. But the three you, names. Know, you know that uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Los Angeles and the Todos Los Santos. What is it? One more sign? Those, those are those two, two more names, like, uh -huh. like uh, Julia Maria de Los Angeles and the Todos Los Santos. Okay. Why are you using my name? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you using my name? <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. Can, can you see the questions? Yes. Okay, so let me assign you to yeah. work in pairs and um, answer each one of those questions. Recreate, recreate. Uh, make sure everybody has a partner. Okay, let me take a picture. Let me, let me yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay, so. See this here. Yes, everybody has a partner. And answer those questions here we go How do you say primogenito? Um, I don't know. The teacher say. The teacher, teacher, how do you say primogenito? Uh, your first son or your first daughter. Ah, okay. You are your, your first daughter. No, I am a, a daughter later, but a little daughter, but uh, he loves me a lot. <laughs> I guess. It's like a same. It's like a same to me. Uh, my name is Jesus del Carmen. <laughs> but I like my name. But my grandmother, when I born, when I born, when I uh, was born, when I was born, uh, sell, told my mother, uh, put his, her name. Uh, her name was a. Uh, Manuela de Jesus, and my mother said, "No, this is not this is not good name for my for my, <laughs> for daughter. my daughter." <laughs> yes, and the, and then they, my grandmother said, "Okay, uh, put Jesus and and Carmen too," and they they think they thought uh, put me Jesus del Carmen. But I like my name. Good. I love my name. Good. Excellent. That's the attitude. 
Yes. Good, very good. How do you pronounce, how do you spell it? Like S-I-E-N-A. Siena. Mm. Okay. Like the okay. river. Mm. Yeah, okay. I like the name. Maybe okay. if I someday have a daughter. Oh, okay. Siena, <laughs> okay. Yeah, Siena, and if it's a boy, maybe Julian. Julian. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are following the tradition. <laughs> no, maybe. Yeah. yeah someday, that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that happens, you know, like there is always a, a family name that is common, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with your cousins, uncles, nephews. So, yeah. True. Yeah, okay. we'll be Julian and Siena. All right. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Good. <laughs> How about you, Jose and Cecilia? Well, in my case, uh, I just remember the first one, Jose. Uh -huh. It's like a religious meaning who mm -hmm. has uh, Jesus in, in their shoulder or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, You're mute. You're Okay, in my case, uh, my name uh, is Cecilia. Um, I don't know the significance. I research, I don't search in the significance. The meaning. Okay. The meaning, the meaning. What does Mario mean? Like Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros. It's a famous game <laughs> okay. uh, uh, created in Tokyo, Japan. Okay, so it doesn't have any <laughs> specific meaning. No, I think no. Okay. All right. Good, good. Um choose that name that name for you. Uh, as I told you before, my mom says that she only came up with the name Erenia and she thought that it was okay for me to be named like that. And mm -hmm. at the beginning, she wanted to, to name me Joanella, but I don't know why, and she doesn't know why either. And my father had anything to do with the, the choosing of the name. Okay. Do you she have a middle name, Marinia? Araceli. Oh, okay. Yes. My my father my father only let my mother to decide our name, and uh, the middle name of, of my middle name is because of one of my father's sisters. Okay, yes. as I, I said before too, my father told me that he chose the Veronica because when he was in the university, he had a. a a classmate who named it was Veronica. Yes, and my middle name, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Name is of name English from the old English name Oscar. Oscar, meaning God is spirit, like espada, espada de Dios. Okay. And let me see, emotional spirit. Spectrum. Okay, so many things. If, but I, I believe it's, I believe it's, it's Hebrew before Jewish. I mean, it's, it's, it's oh, okay. Jewish. It's Hebrew. But let me see personal interest. No, no, so, so many things. I don't know. Oh, um, okay, that's great. But it's Leo. Andrea is the woman name, right? Yes, yes. Uh, if you could change your name, what would you change it to? <laughs> In my case, uh, if I ch could change my my first name, <laughs> I would change uh, it Francisca uh, to Montserrat, maybe. <laughs> Montserrat. Okay. Montserrat is is beautiful for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful name. Yeah. In my case, I, I, I love my names, but if I will change, maybe I, my name could be Alexandra. Alexandra is a beautiful name too. Yes, Alexandra. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Uh, what name do you really dislike? What name? There are many. <laughs> yes. Next is, uh, what names do you really dislike? <clears throat> mm, maybe I don't dislike them, but it's a little bit uh, rare or, or old names like Pancrasio or something like that. <laughs> they are weird. And they sound like they are only for all people. Okay. In my case, I really dislike, for example, lesbian, Kimberly. Ah. <laughs> but that, that's because of the of the memes or something like that. Kimberly. Ah. <laughs> yes. But I I know I know someone who her name is Lesbi. Anna. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> but uh, her first name is Lesby. And the middle is Anna. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the first. I, I have heard the name Lesbia. But yes, that's the, yes. this is the first time that I hear like Lesby Anna. Mm -hmm, yes. But I, when I, I work in a city hall, five years ago uh -huh. and, I, and i remember that um how do you say diego I uh, that. someone arrived yes uh, a, a man who wants to name her his her baby son, his baby uh iker 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 like like the, like the like soccer it. player yes and I, I remember the, oh, for example, nowadays in the city hall, they look in the, in a program or in Google. I'm not sure if the, if the name, if the name, uh, can you tell me how can I say que el nombre no represente algo malo para la persona? Yeah, that the name doesn't have a bad meaning or has yes. a bad representation. Bad meaning, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Good. <laughs> Interesting. So let's go back to the main session. <laughs> okay. All right. So some of you guys explained, you know, like the reason why we have restrictions in, in Salvador City Hall is because Sometimes Salvadorians, we come with some strange names and that they sound like punishment to, to the babies, you know, like, I don't like this baby, so this is going to be his name. So, you know, so, all right. And uh, also families, there is usually a, a name that different relatives have, you know. In my family, Francisco is the common name. My great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, myself, my son, my cousin, my nephews. So we have like 10 different Franciscos in the family. But, anyways, all right. Any questions or comments about names? No. No? All right. So, once again, thank you very much for making the space of being in the class. And I will be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Remember that we finish next week. So please do not 
disappear. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you, Thank teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.